Yeah, unfortunately, every once in a while, the internet likes to slow down. So, just have to hit the reset. <laughs> Some ads. One of my favorite uh, favorite flowers is Birds of Paradise because I uh, saw them for the first time while uh, walking out of the OR Tambo Airport, Johannesburg, South Africa.
I'm not sure if I've uh, posted the rainy day video yet, but if you see the video of the rainy day, this entire area was rushing water, so yeah, it looks a little different now. <laughs>
as you can see, pretty beautiful place, especially when the sun is out. Uh, <laughs> just doing a little bit of walking. Um, one challenge that I'm facing right now is the amount of video that I have, and I keep filling up this SD card, which is okay. 128 gig SD card on both my phone and GoPro. Uh, I've emptied the GoPro card a couple times now, and I'm starting to fill up my one terabyte hard drive, external hard drive, and my laptop hard drive is uh, running running low on storage as well, uh, but I need that for other functions and programs and things, so I've got to figure out. <laughs> I've just got to edit edit the videos um, that are on, you know, edit all the material that I have on the external hard drive before uploading it to the cloud, because once it's in the cloud, then I have to download it again to use it, so I just got to get cracking on video editing, just crank out videos. I've, you know, finally got the farm stay. You know, I've got all this downtime now. I don't have to worry about hunting for places to stay or anything like that. So, but I'm just trying to take advantage of actually experiencing the farm and not just being on my computer the entire time. So it's all a balance, <laughs> trying to find the balance. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely nice out here. And I'm excited for, you know, four weeks, which sounded like a lot. Um, but yeah, should be, should be the right amount of time. We'll see how things go. But yeah, I hope to, uh, hope to see more of the Big Island while I'm here. Maybe go see the telescopes or go see some lava if, it, if there's any active uh, flows. And also really want to visit the coffee farm, visitor's center processing station see how it's all done and yeah see all that they got and has to offer like i said we went to the um went to that one beach park today and uh that was definitely a nice change of scenery it's often well, it was sunny sunny on that side of the island but when we got back it was a little cloudy but obviously now the sun is down here again so um maybe i can overlay a map to kind of show uh how far we traveled and where we traveled, but uh, yeah, it was definitely nice to see the ocean. <laughs> but once you're on the, once you're on any of the islands, you're really never that far from the ocean, even though it can kind of feel, you know, like you're on the mainland somewhere. Um, yeah, it's kind of surreal actually. You just look around and it just feels like a farm somewhere, but you know, you're actually in the middle of a Pacific Ocean. <laughs> thousands of miles away from any mainland so yeah it's uh it's kind of surreal but very pretty very pretty and uh also kind of surreal that all the rocks are basically volcanic rocks you know because this whole thing was made by a volcano so or several volcanoes i should say so yeah that's just yeah just gotta appreciate that <laughs> Pretty wild. By the way, this is a coffee tree. <laughs> if you've never seen one before, it's uh, yeah, it's taller than I am, so. Um, but yeah, these are the coffee cherries, I believe is what they're called at this point. And then the bean is inside, but you can actually eat the bean. You're just, actually, you can eat the cherry and it tastes kind of sweet. Yeah, there's like a little bit of sweetness. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can actually, are you supposed to swallow the bean now? I was told not to, but I'll have to look it up. Yeah. That's the the bean. All white and wet. <laughs>
What are you doing? What are you doing? Buddy. Ah, oh, buddy.